Hey babes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. So I'm so excited for this video because I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done styling sort of content videos. And so I wanted to bring them back and how I wanted to start with bringing them back was showing you in real time the outfits that I create and wear for whatever sort of thing that I have going on in my life. I feel like that is just the best way to show the most realistic outfits and what I truly wear on a day to day. So I'm gonna take you along with me for like the next five, six days the week and show you guys exactly what I wear every single day. But I've missed this content. I hope you guys are really excited for this. If you have any other video ideas or things that you wanna see from me, leave it down below for me in the comments. But let me turn you around and get this started. I just need to put on my jacket and I'm not quite ready to head out the door just yet. I still need to finish doing my hair, but the light, I'm losing the light quickly. So I wanna just pop on here and show you really quickly what the outfit is going to be for tonight. So for tonight, I am going to a birthday party like an adult's birthday party i feel like i have to clarify that because i've been going to a lot of kid birthday parties lately but yeah i'm really excited for this i'm excited to drink some wine have some really good food oh i'm so looking forward to it I put a little light on to help with the lighting situation because we're struggling a bit. Starting off with like the top half, this is my outfit for tonight. So I'm going with a little cropped blazer moment. I just picked this up from Zara and I am over the moon like so thrilled about this blazer and like the quality of it too. I feel like it looks higher ends. The cropped is perfect and it kind of has like the double breasted look. So it's like a little wide but it still like flows and opens really nicely. And that the sleeves are not too long either. They do have some buttons on them. And then because I'm wearing a cropped blazer, I wanted to wear a cropped t-shirt underneath it. I could have done like a bodysuit or something too, but I just figured like the balance, I kind of wanted a little bit of skin to show with this outfit. Also, I guess I'm missing jewelry. I could probably add that on as well. Maybe some like gold hoops or something to match like the buttons. So I'll probably go add that on after the fact. But then this top is from Aritzia and it is their contour collection. And it's one of like their new ones that they just came out with. It's like a crop t-shirt. I size up in the contour collection, just as like a side note to an extra small. Cause I feel like everything from Aritzia I wear in a size extra small, but this I feel like runs really like compressed and overly tight. And you can see that it's still like really, really tight even with that. I'll turn you around in a second and do like a selfie view into the mirror so that you can see like the full outfit a little bit better. But these are the jeans that I am wearing. These are a Goldie jeans and I got them recently. Ugh, the obsession is so real. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone type of a jean, but like something about them just works so well. You'll see that they have like this curve like a barrel but then it tapers at the bottom i feel like it just is so flattering it kind of combines like a straight leg with like the baggy trend that's going on right now but then the waist just fits so well in these two like no alterations at all i didn't even get these hemmed at all and then i threw on some like little sling back shoes let me show you what these are these are fairly new too i've been like so into like white shoes but these are them they are like perfect i love like how pointy they are so here we have it this is the fit this is like the overall look of the jeans that i was trying to show you so it like barrels out it curves out and then it tapers back in but man they are such a flattering style of jean and i love 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 pairing them with these slingbacks i've been really into that like i feel like it just makes all the outfits look so classy and like on another level even pairing like really baggy jeans with some sort of like pointy toe heel i'm all for it so here we have it a little classy a little fun so let's go to our birthday party enjoy it enjoy some drinks and just enjoy our weekend i very desperately need to just like chill and enjoy my weekend this last week with work was like absolutely insane but anyways i will see you guys tomorrow Hey loves, okay, so we're now day two and I'm getting ready to run out to go run some errands. It's been a pretty nice relaxing day so far. We've got like the sheets being washed, I'm cleaning a bit. It's just like trying to get the house in order. But at the same time before the week starts, there's a few things that I wanna go run out and do. Drop off a few things for returns, get Oliver some food and some miscellaneous stuff like that. Okay, so the outfit for today, I am going like edgy today. 
today. I don't know if you can tell the sun is kind of out, but it's still cold. So I don't need a jacket with like a hood today, but I still wanted something like cute, a little oversized. So I am going with this oversized leather jacket. Got it from Zara recently. I showed it in a recent video of mine. Obsessed with it, you guys. It was like the perfect oversized leather jacket. It's really affordable too. It comes with a belt on it, but I ended up taking the belt off just so like it wouldn't be dangling and hanging around. And then underneath is essentially a all black outfit. Let's lower you a bit so that you can see more of it. So underneath I have on this oversized Elwood tee. It's in like kind of like a faded black color so it doesn't match everything 100% but I kind of like that. I have it hanging down low but I can also kind of like do one of these sort of things too. And for bottoms, I have on the groove pants from Lululemon. So a little bit of like a flare. And then the shoes I have on whoop, whoop, <laughs> are some Converse. So like high top Converse is like a, a creamy, like ivory with the black. I get these in the kid sizes and it's a lot more affordable that way too. So that's the comfy outfit for today. Let me show you a different way. Here's the outfit as like a selfie view, just so you can see like full length, the full outfit. So you got the Converse and a little bit of a flare with the groove pants, oversized tee, yeah, super, super comfy. I'm just gonna go grab my purse from downstairs and then we're gonna head out and go run our little errands. Happy Monday, it is the start of the work week and this morning has been really productive. I got a workout in, <sighs> that felt so good to finally get in, especially because of all the things that has been going on. If you guys watched one of my latest vlogs where like I caught you all up, like health issues and just like a roller coaster of everything. So anyways, it was really nice to get a workout in. And then I fully got ready. I've been working a little bit and I was like, oh yeah, let's check in. Let me show you the outfit that I'm wearing for today. A good working from home inspo, something that can easily like transition if you need to like run out, go outside, do any errands and stuff like that too. So let me show you. So I stole this look straight from a video that's gonna be coming right after this. I'm partnering with Lululemon in the next video, which so excited about. I love, love, love partnering with them because I just love the brand so much. So anyways, I'm building outfits for that video. And when I built the outfits to prepare for that video, this outfit stuck out and it was like that perfect working from home outfit. So I kind of just plucked that idea right on over because it's a really good outfit idea, especially for working from home. So this is the outfit. It is like the soft stream crew neck pullover. And then I paired it with the matching soft stream pants. This is in the black color but you can see that it's kind of like a faded black because of like this type of material it is so soft and then of course because it's like a matching set i just feel so put together at the same time so being on like a video or anything with my meetings throughout today like i look good i look presentable and they only see from here on up so showing a little bit of my midsection doesn't even matter but i did tuck this up into my align tank i'm wearing a align tank underneath this and these pants you guys let me show you them because they're amazing. They are a little long, so I still need to take them into Lululemon, drop them off for their free hemming service. But just for like around the house and everything, it, like it's not that big of a deal. And even if I was to go out in these, I'll show you like what it looks like with shoes on. It doesn't hit the ground. It does bunch, obviously, but that's about it. But these are incredible. They're super soft. I love like the straight leg throughout and how they fit. But I did size up in these to a size two just for them to be like a little bit more roomy and a little bit more comfortable. But I like that they still look fitted so they're not like overly tight or anything like that let me show you what i would throw on if i was to go out in this outfit so i would pair it with these two items the lululemon trench coat which you guys have already seen me talk about and rave about i have it in black but then i recently also got it in the bone color which i love and then i would also pair it with these clog style Birkenstocks that looks like it's like close to a similar color. And the nice thing about this trench coat is that the hood rolls up into the collar. So if it decides it wants to rain today, it's kind of like a weird weather situation. I can always pull the hood out to cover my head. And then here's a better view for the shoes. So like I was saying, these are a little bit long, it kind of bunches, but it doesn't like hit the ground. So I think it's fine for right now. But yeah, I like this outfit a lot. It's just working with two colors, keeping it very neutral, very classic. My favorite thing is always just feeling super comfortable, but even with this, I still feel like I look put together. So definitely obsessed with this outfit and and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I almost forgot what day it was. 
So this morning has been absolutely insane. Today was the day that I needed to take my dad to his doctor's appointment in Seattle. It's kind of like a long story, but I just volunteered to like help out. He can't currently drive right now, so we need someone to drive him. And my stepmom can't take any more time off of work for my dad's doctor's appointments. So I volunteered to help, but I needed to like drive down to his house, pick him up, and then take him to his house to Seattle. So I had to wake up at like 6 a.m. His appointment was 8 a.m. And I didn't have time this morning to show you guys what my outfit was. My office is an absolute disaster because I was like rushing this morning to even find an outfit and get out the door. So I'm officially back from the appointment, walked in the door. I have my lunch downstairs that I need to go grab and eat, but I really quickly wanted to come up here and show you what my outfit for today was. All right, lowering you down so you guys can see a little bit more of that outfit. So it's not raining today, so I didn't need to have a hood and I mostly was just going from like a parking garage inside, so I really wasn't like outside much anyways, but I still wanted to be warm, I still wanted to be cute, I still wanted to be comfy. So this is kind of like what I landed on. So I have on underneath this trench coat, which by the way, this trench coat is from Zara. I showed it in one of my recent vlogs when I did a Zara haul. It's, you guys, like a whole obsession. It's like oversized, it's just perfection. You guys know I'm in my oversized era. So I am in love with it so much. I love the color. The inside isn't like quite lined, but it seems like it's water resistant in a way. I might have to still test that out a bit, but yeah, love it. But underneath is this half zip prop sweatshirt from Aritzia. It's in this really light heather gray color. I'm not wearing anything underneath it. I just have like a bralette on since I kind of wanted it open anyways. And then these jeans are a goldie in the 90s pinch waist, the same style that I get most of my goldie jeans, like my favorite jeans. And because the waist doesn't require like any alterations, the pinch waist just means like it's like a little bit more tapered in, but it still leaves like room for like your hips and stuff. And then my shoes are Vihas, just like a simple white sneaker. Let me turn you around. And here you have it. Here's like the full view of the outfits. Love like the little white sneakers. They're kind of like off-white, so I didn't think that they necessarily like completely went with like the white in this gray. But you know, I was in a hurry this morning and I think that this outfit is still really cute. I like the dark denim mixed with like the lighter and like the color of this trench. I was trying to wear like these jeans. I put those on this morning instead, but I liked this a whole lot more with the outfit. So yeah, here's the outfit. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. We've made it to hump day, yes. So today, slightly different outfit. So today I'm actually going into the office I gotta do this quickly because I am running late. I'm gonna have to start going into the office so much more coming up, which I told you guys is giving me some anxiety. The fact that we have to go back to the office three days a week starting in May. So I'm really anxious to see how that is all gonna work out. But in the meantime, how things have kind of gone for work is that like, I would say like once a month, we go in once a day essentially, and then once a quarter we go in for a full week. So it kind of depends on what's happening. Today, I just need to go in for today, that's it. There is some team testing, a team meeting, and then some team planning for this upcoming like operational planning that our whole org has to do. So we're doing it in person. Then coming up in two weeks is when we meet for like a full week. Anyways, a lot of unnecessary information perhaps, but we're going into the office today and this is my outfit for going into the office. I wanted to look professional, put together, but at the same time, like keep it pretty casual because Amazon is like a super casual environment. I mean, people come to work in their sweatpants, but me being like a program manager, I just like to look a little bit more put together. It's kind of like my vibes right now anyways, with like wearing blazers. I'm here for them, as you guys know, with the oversizedness. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I have like this oversized Zara blazer on top. I can also like button it to kind of give a blazer dress look. I don't know, we'll see how I play around with it. And then underneath, I just have on this larger plain black tee from Aritzia. It has like some shoulder pads in it. I wish it was like a little bit longer just to like kind of cover like my crotch area. That's why I'm kind of deciding whether or not I want to like button it a hundred percent, but I didn't have time to like mess around with it. I gotta go. And then I just have on some Align leggings from Lululemon. And then on bottom, I have some boots. 
These boots are so legit. They are from Reformation. I have a haul coming up with them. Well, not with them. I'm not partnering with them, but I ordered a ton of things off of Reformation, which I'm so excited to do that haul video because there's so many like fire pieces out of it. But these boots were one of them. I wanted a little bit of a heel on a boot, but still like something that can pass as like being either more dressy or casual because I didn't want like a flat boot and then anything higher than this. It just looks way too fancy. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is like a good mix and then I love the leather of it too. So this is our fit. It. this is what we're going with i do have a couple of rings on i have this one from miranda fry i believe on this finger and then this is one of my favorite rings from pd paola on my other hands oh guys don't look at my nails i'm growing them out and trying to get rid of these <laughs> nails and then i'm just gonna use this bag from 30 years as like my tote bag to carry my laptop and stuff i mean i guess that this is like a little too casual of a bag for my outfit situation that I got going on, but it's better than a backpack. And I guess I need to add that to like my wish list. I need like a nicer tote bag that I can wear and use to go into the office to carry my laptop. Now that I'm going into the office more regularly, it's a good idea. Anyways, bye guys. Love you guys. I'm gonna head to the office and I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday, loves. So we're getting ready to go out to dinner. I'm still working on getting dressed right now, but this is what I've ended up with so far. So I'm gonna wear like these heels. I know, you guys, who am I? It works the best with this outfit. I tried like pairing booties with it and it didn't really look cute. So we're gonna do this. And I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on my feet, you know, cause we're just gonna go out to dinner at a restaurant. So I think I can make it from the car to the restaurant just fine. These are Steve Madden pumps though. And I'm wearing them with these jeans from Redone. They fit like just perfection. I didn't need to get them altered like in the waist at all. And I feel like they're like really, really flattering on the bum too. And then up top is just this top that I got from Revolve a while ago. I think like you're supposed to tie the sides, but I kind of like letting them hang loose. No, I think it looks better. I also messed around with putting a belt on, but I didn't like that look. But the texture of this, I don't know if you can see it at all. It's really, really cool. And then for a jacket, let's spice it up. I've been obsessed with the jacket I wore earlier this week. Let's put on this oversized leather jacket, make it a bit edgy, but it still looks like put together. I love how long this is, you guys. Like this is a must. It's the perfect fitting leather jacket. It is faux and it was so affordable. It's from Zara, right? I don't know, you guys. I love it. I need to invest in like some silver jewelry because I feel like that would have been perfect to wear with this outfit, like a necklace and maybe a couple of rings. But I don't want to wear gold because of all the silver in this jacket. So we're just going to do without any, which is fine. And then I'm just going to go grab my black Bottega Mini Jody bag. I love that one specifically for like going out and dinners and stuff like that here you go here's the outfit from like the mirror selfie view cute no i think i like it I feel these clothes behind me. No, but for tonight, we're gonna go to Boca, which is an Argentine restaurant in Seattle. It is so good if you guys live in the area. I recommend that you go. They also have like a bakery, which has the best Argentine pizza ever too. You guys should go to that. But that essentially wraps up this whole video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the outfits that I wore this week and the outfits that I kind of just put together. I love doing this because it really is truly like the most realistic view for what I would truly wear on a day to day versus like when you plan out too much. I don't feel like those are outfits that you would typically wear. Like if I was to do like a full lookbook, it's like good intentions, but would I actually wear that? You know what I mean? Versus like all of these outfits I truly wore, you know? But anyways, you guys get the idea. I really hope that you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And before you click out of this video, please make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on more content to come. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.